Hello, welcome to the study net site for English grammar. My name is Marjolein, Marjolein Groefsema, and I'm the module leader for English grammar. I'll be teaching this module together with one of our new colleagues, uh, Jill Abusnuga. Uh, as you can hear, I'm from Holland, uh, but I came to England in 1985 to study linguistics at UCL, and I'm still here now. I've been teaching English grammar for about the last 20 years. Um, and with other colleagues in other universities, my experience has been that when you teach English grammar as a, uh, a standard module with a lecture and a seminar, uh, students don't do so well. So I've been trying out different ways in trying to get students to do better. Um, and uh, I have now adopted an approach that's called team-based learning. It was developed by um, people in America, called, uh, amongst others, Larry Michelson. Uh, and team-based learning, um, well, as the name says, <laughs> means that you'll be working in teams, in groups. Now, uh, the way we're going to do things then is that you will start... Uh, by completing in the first class, you're going to have a sort of grammar test. Now, that, don't worry about it. Um, it's it's not to catch you out, or it's and it's not going to count towards anything. It's just for me to see where you are, what you already know about grammar, and then I will put teams together on the basis of the results of this uh, grammar test audit, if you like. Um, now. Now you will work with your team every week. So you have a set team and you'll be working together all the time with that team. Uh, and the way this approach works is that before class uh, you will be working through a weekly worksheet which you can find on StudyNet under the teaching materials. Um, now the, the sheet has got exercises in it that you can do to practice and there are the answers so you can check how you've done. There's also a quiz on StudyNet that you can do as often as you like to test how well you've understood the material. And then there are questions, homework questions. Now the homework questions you do before coming to class and you answer them on your electronic voting system handset. Yeah, I hope you still have it from last year and otherwise come and get one from me. Now, the homework will count uh, for a mark. You'll find the questions in the worksheet. Uh, there will be 10 of these homeworks in the module and um, I will count the eight best ones. So I won't count the two worst ones or if you haven't uploaded or you haven't submitted to, they won't be counted. In class then, when you come to class, you'll upload your homework to the computer. Uh, then we do the class and an innovation this year is that we won't have lectures at all anymore. We will have um, workshops. So we'll be working with the material that you have prepared before coming to class. And then in the last 30 minutes of the class, um, You'll, as a team, you'll do the homework again, the questions of the homework. They'll be slightly uh, expanded questions, so it's not identical to what you did beforehand. And again, uh, the work you do with your team will count towards your mark. Uh, so, the module is assessed then by these weekly homeworks, the weekly group tasks in, in the workshop, there will be one in-class test, there will be one take-home assignment. And then, to cap it all off, at the end of the module there will be an exam. Uh, now that, because what we're trying to do with this module is make you confident in using knowledge of English grammar to analyse sentences. Um, so the exam uh, is, is, is the final assessment to see whether, you know, whether you've been successful in getting that sort of working knowledge that you really, you know, and the point of that is that you need it for your other modules. And also for, you know, later on, uh, you'll find that it will come in handy, even if it's only if you've got children and you can answer their questions about grammar. Okay, why do I do it this way and not just in lecture seminar mode? Well, 
uh, I found that students didn't do so well, as I said before. And I'll show you this graph. And here you can see uh, the results, the comparison. Last year I started using this approach and the light blue uh, bars here show you the results. And it shows, and the dark blue are results obtained when students just had lectures and seminars. And as you can see, last year over 50% of students got a first class or an upper second mark, including 35 students with a first class mark. And of those, there were 18 who achieved over 80%. And that's out of 104 students, so a third of the students more or less got a first class mark. And for, so although a lot of students find English grammar daunting and think it's difficult, if you, uh, you know, if you uh, work, do the work, you have a very good chance of doing very well in this module. And for a lot of the students last year, the mark in English grammar um, was the highest mark they achieved. Now, of course, it's really great if you get a good mark for me. The, the thing that is really important for me is that I am happy that you go away with knowledge of English grammar that you can actually use and that you're confident in using. So, uh, well, that's all I want to say now. See you in class. Bye.